Hello YouTube, I just wanted to share with you today my favorite handgun that I own. This is a, uh, a Makarov pistol, this is a 9mm Makarov, otherwise known as a PM. Uh, PM stands for Pistolet Makarova, uh, which stands for uh, Makarov pistol. This is a 9mm, this is not your traditional 9mm Luger. Um, 9mm Luger is a 9x19 this cartridge is a 9 by 18 um, I have a sample here this is what it looks like kinda looks like a 380 but it's a little bit bigger 380 is a 9 by 17 this punches this packs a little bit more power than that um, and uh, the round itself is not n uh, 9 millimeter this is actually a 9.2 it's a little bit wider than a 9 um, very fun gun to shoot, not a lot of recoil, uh, really accurate primarily uh, due to the fixed barrel. Uh, this is a Walther PPK design um, handgun. He, the Nikolai Makarov did borrow, borrow a lot of the uh, features and designs from a, from a Walther. This has a nine, uh, I'm sorry, an eight round magazine, single stack as you can see, which makes this for a uh, nice and narrow profile a lot of people do choose to carry this as a uh, concealed carry uh, in my case I unfortunately cannot do that um, I live in uh, wonderful California and uh, it's very very hard to get a concealed carry license so um, luxury is not there for me to do so however when I go hunting I carry this with me as my sidearm um, I know every time I squeeze the trigger this thing will fire with the right shot placement, you don't need more than eight rounds in the magazine. Um, and um, so, this is this particular handgun. This is a commercial version. This is not a military gun. Uh, and uh, the reason, one of the reasons you can tell the difference is you can see the uh, adjustable rear sights. This would actually be a different slide stop. I replaced the slide stop with the military slide stop, and uh, I replaced the hand grip with. Uh, with the uh, uh, military hand grip. Um, I, I don't like the black polymer grip that it comes with. In order to send the slide forward, as, by the way, as you can see, this has no round in the chamber. The chamber is totally empty, no mag. So this, this gun is uh, safe to operate and demonstrate. Uh, in order to send the slide forward, all you would do is pull the slide stop downwards and the spring will automatically return to its position just like that. Um, this handgun, um, one of the reasons why I like it also is it does have a decocker. Um, in order to decock the hammer, all you do is bring this lever towards this, that red dot and it'll decock it on its own, just like that. With the, with the safety on, you cannot pull the trigger, cock the hammer, or pull the slide back. Um, but once you put the, bring the slide uh, the lever down. Um, this goes into a double action trigger which is a bit hefty. This is about 12 pounds. Um, nice and heavy but when the adrenaline's kicking yeah, I don't think you're gonna notice much difference. Um, anyway, um, kinda heavy. On the single action this is nice and crisp. I'm not sure if this is a particular handgun um, if I just got lucky or if all the commercial models are like this but this the single action trigger is one of the best I've ever felt. Um, if you if you want to check and see how crisp that is, no creep at all. Just very wonderful trigger. I do enjoy it a lot. I do enjoy shooting it. I did paint the front sight. Um, I did put a little white paint on it, and it does make a difference, as you can see. Um, my local range allows to bring these plastic bottles here and as you can see I made that into Swiss cheese. Here's my 45 caliber full-size M&P um, just to compare it with the Makarov. So it's definitely bigger but 
in every way but um, right there let's see if I can uh, I don't think I can show you the thickness the M&P is also much thicker than the um, Makarov primarily because again M&P is a double, st double stack 45 this is a single stack 9 so this of course will be much more narrow um, anyway I do enjoy this handgun a lot if you end up uh, seeing one at the store I highly recommend you pick one up prices are starting to creep up I've picked it up a few years ago for about two hundred dollars um, great handgun uh, definitely worth the money now they're about three hundred three fifty um, I still think that that's worth uh, the money for what it has to offer a very durable handgun um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and remember Funnions are awesome.